happened? How did you start and where are we now? So, um, you know, since uh, 2017, we have always trailed uh, uh, and scouted the best players of Nigerian descent, you know, everywhere in the world, basically. Um, and there are no exceptions. So uh, right from then, you know, we had always been, um, you know, interrogating periodically uh, on whether they would be interested for playing, uh, uh, they would be interested in playing for the for the for the national team. And there are many others there. Yeah? There are many many other Nigerians, by the way. So 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 when you see maybe a lot of uh, such professional players um, just coming on board like that. It's not really the work of a day. It's it's actually uh, something that is ingrained in time, um, and it's still in the quest for us to try and get Nigerians wherever they are, uh, who are best at uh, playing to do so for their for their motherland. Um, so so with them, it's been always uh, we have always been there in their faces. Um, so uh, you know, I know Neka played uh, for the USA. We have uh, competed against her. Um, you know so. There is a chance to go to the Olympics. Um, she uh, is not on the uh, on the USA uh, roster, um, but as an athlete, uh, I think uh, you know uh, that uh, the ambition to get to the Olympics is 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 sometimes very very uh, very very overwhelming, and that is actually the hugest price I think for most sportsmen in the in the in the world. Um, so so she did also see an opportunity with us uh, that. Uh, we are already qualified, and that she can contribute uh, meaningfully, uh, meaningfully to the team. Um, so, again, uh, where two interests coincide, uh, you know, uh, they work hand in hand. Okay. So, <laughs> what would you have preferred to see? I mean, um, the Erika playing against Neka, or both of them playing <laughs> together? Because I was, I was looking forward. I mean, I think when Erika was named to the roster by um, Otis a few months ago, yeah. I, I was looking yeah. forward to seeing. Erica <laughs> versus Neka. So, which would you have preferred, to be honest? Well, well, well. What I would have preferred um, is is uh, for the Nigerian team, whoever is on our side, to be able to compete and win against the other. So, <laughs> so that's that's my preference. Uh, but but honestly, having uh, having said that. Um, Having the two of them on, on, on our roster is, is, is advantageous to the extent that I'm sure they would have uh, played, uh, three of them, I mean, sorry, they would have, uh, they have been playing as uh, sisters, uh, they've been hanging out as sisters, so they do understand themselves in a, in a very great way, which I'm sure the coach may not even, uh, may not be able to assimilate nor understand. Um, so they would bring some, some vibes uh, to, to us. Um, and uh, by the way, you know, these three sisters, they represent a huge uh, followership in, in Nigerian basketball for especially the women. Uh, and I'm looking at the inspiration, the kind of pull up uh, type inspiration that uh, they are going to have on, on especially our, our women folk uh, back, uh, back at home is, is, is phenomenal. Um, and, and in fact, uh, not just playing for the country, but I think our uh, the big idea behind uh, us trying to get people, um, uh, you know, who would be role models, who would be uh, people that, um, you know, when they speak, they inspire. Um, you know, it's just like in those days, if you remember when they called Pele's name, Pele is Brazilian. But all of us, um, I was a basketballer, but uh, when they called Pele's name, I was inspired in a way in terms of sports. Um, so so this, is, this is what superstars are. Um, and by the way, and, and, and I would say the, the, the three sisters are, are three superstars, uh, and, and in a way that they're together inspires uh, even a lot more. So, so that, is, uh, that is actually a very, a very important uh, factor after the Olympics, which we intend to, uh, to drive home. And, and something like always sort of like, you know, leads to, it might not be that huge of a deal, but there is still that similar friction because you have a group that's put together and qualified the team for Olympics, and then you have this superstar mm -hmm. that comes in and walks into the team and costs somebody a spot, you know? So how mm -hmm. do you manage that, uh, something like that? So, you know, uh, my, again, uh, we go back to uh, the tenets of sports, okay? Um, we use whatever we can at the time that we have in order to achieve the best 
uh, performance that we can at any time. Um, I know it's, 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 um, it will be personally a very, very uh, difficult, it will be disappointing to people. People will be very hurt in a way, um, emotionally, you know, a kind of imbalanced uh, by all this. Why would I qualify something and then somebody comes to, to take uh, the place? My, my response to that, uh, and even when I was playing, uh, this is always what I've uh, told my, my teammates, uh, it's just like taking a loss, um, you know, of a game, um, meaning that you are ready to seed um, to somebody who will better help the team. Um, and, and as such, you should see such as your own contribution to the Nigerian team performing even better. Um, you know, so, so again, uh, it's kind of philosophical. It may not be answering the question to the, uh, to the uh, individuals uh, directly, but, but that is, you know, sports is some you win, some you lose, right? Um, and, and there's no loss here because I prefer for them to see it as a contribution, their contribution to seeding uh, their place for somebody who can help the team maybe better than they can. Um, and, and, and for me, insofar as I make it very obvious that the contributions are what count. Um, you know, we give everybody an opportunity, but the results are, uh, uh, are going to be measured in a way uh, that are very individual. Um, and I go back to say, uh, uh, for whoever, whatever player at any time uh, would feel that the, he's better, he or she is better than somebody on the team, um, I would like to know that. You know, because for me, that is not the, 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 the mantra. The mantra is, uh, let's go for the best that we can get at any time. Uh, and if I try it, I come, if I've been doing it and then somebody comes along and the country, uh, you know, through its technical bench tells me, look, uh, maybe you need to uh, seed in order for this uh, person to, uh, uh, to, to, to play in your place. Um, I will always look at it as my contribution and I will take it as very honorable uh, a, a contribution to, to the team in order for the team collectively to have a better performance. 